What's one feature that you rolled out that seemed like a great idea in theory that fell on the shop floor when you tried to do it internally? That is a great question. So AI is a little bit of a hit and miss these days. Interesting. Um, and what, so we have awesome AI functionality and leaps and bounds ahead where incumbents currently are, which is awesome. But the reality is still when you release AI functionality, it's a bit of, you may see the same things or maybe tools that you're using, Lauren, yeah. is like, like the results are just not as consistent in some cases. And that is really annoying mm -hmm. <laughs> because all of us know consistency really matters for most, not all use cases, but for 99.9% .9 of the problems we're trying to solve workflows we're working through, it needs to be consistent. A good example of that is, for example, we have this sort of interface where you can build reports in natural language and like it builds you the report. It's awesome. It's like a custom report builder that literally will spit out the report that you describe it in natural language. That sounds really cool. Yeah, it's one of my favorite features personally. And but sometimes it will basically misread revenue and what revenue is for what is it netting? I forget. There's basically I think uh, it's basically two line items and they're completely different line items. It's not that they're like close or whatever else. Right. And then the troubleshooting this because no two applications or screens will be the same. Like my co-founder or CTO's application when we debug is throws off as different results to ours. So how do we constrain the LLM to be more precise and so forth? So that type of Iteration is we have awesome customers, so they understand that AI is bleeding edge. Yeah. But that type of iteration happens internally first and creates a whole bunch of interesting discussion. Then, yeah, that's yeah. really interesting. That has been a from a kind of a product development perspective something really interesting with AI. In the past, you would build a feature and this would work or not work, but when it's working, it's like black or white. Yeah, and we've experienced the same with kind of like looking at hey, it's shipped, but it's about like fine tuning the way the LLM is configured, the prompts, the kind of constraints around that, and that changes really like the way we build product now. And I think it's a, it's really an interesting thing, not only for us as builder of companies using these technologies, but also for the users to understand that, hey, this is not a, a strict like protocol yeah. and process that you're going to flow. And so that it's also something that as a finance leader, I guess you want to take into account because it's something to really important to understand where this is a very strict process versus say something can be like different based on the context.